Am I an asshole for refusing to style my 12-year daughter's hair? Basically, I'm white and Native American. My daughter's dad is Puerto Rican and Native American. My hair is straight and blonde and my ex's hair is black, coarse, and frizzy, poofy. My daughter has a mixture of both of our hair. When it's longer, it becomes more straight and super easy to style. When it's short, it's nearly impossible to even brush through, let alone style. I've always had long hair but her dad and her grandmother think long hair is ugly. I mean, there was even a time back years ago when my ex-mom insisted on cutting off my dead ends and told me she wouldn't cut it short it was down to my ass and she literally chopped it right below my shoulders and said oh that's so much better and got pissed at me for saying I hated it and would never let her touch my hair again. Needless to say, me and my ex broke up shortly after. For years my daughter would go to visits and come home with her hair chopped off. If I made any comments about it. I was met with a she's my fucking kid too. You aren't the boss. What happens at my house is none of your business. You don't make the fucking rules. But two years ago my daughter started telling them she wanted to grow her hair out because she couldn't style her short hair without my help. And we were both getting pissed off and short fused over having to wake up one to two hours earlier every morning just to brush through her hair and style it to a point where she didn't feel insecure at school. During that time they respected her wishes and didn't touch her hair. But a month ago her grandmother and dad started bitching about her hair again. I made a point to tell them not to touch her hair without her permission because I have a newborn at home now. And can't take one to two hours every morning to style her hair anymore. Well, they convinced my daughter to chop off her hair this past weekend and sure enough. My daughter is in my room at 5.30am asking me to help her with her hair. Well, I'm nursing my newborn. I told her no, I had just started feeding the baby. She immediately flipped out. She said, my grandmother said you should be taking time to do my hair and that you have two kids, not one. I texted the grandmother and asked WTF she said to my kid and she said as a mom you need to prioritize both kids, not just the baby. Do your daughter's fucking hair. I didn't do my kid's hair. She is blaming me for feeling insecure at school now. ETA, she told me she gave her grandmother permission to cut her hair. She cannot style it herself. She can't even brush through it alone. She has tried. It takes me one to two hours brushing and styling it. She's been to salons. I've paid hundreds for products that basically just mask the issue. What it boils down to is that she cannot handle her short hair without my help. And I do not have the time or energy to take one to two hours every morning to do her hair right now after being up with a baby all night. She, her grandmother, and her dad all knew this because I straight up told them before cutting my kid's hair that I didn't have time to do her hair in the morning. It was a power play or an attempt to turn my kid against me, which is why her grandmother made a point to tell her that I have two kids, not one, and should be taking time to do her hair. Reddit comment, maybe you need to see a hairstylist who has expertise in that kind of hair, who maybe has that kind of hair themselves. And it sounds like you and your daughter have to start to accept and embrace her natural hair, not trying to treat it and try to make it look like white people's hair. Op response, her hair doesn't look like white people's hair even when it's long. It's just easier to manage on her own. Reddit comment, find another stylist. There are people with short for C hair who don't need two hours every morning to get through their hair. And at 12 most of that product application and detangling she should be able to do without your help. You shouldn't need to dedicate two hours to her hair. I'd suggest finding a black stylist. Op response. I don't even think I have any black stylists in my area or I totally would do that. I will look into it. However, the problem with my daughter's hair is that like... I will section it into eight different sections, comb through one section, and work on another and when that section is done, the section is started on is tingled again. Her hair is so coarse that it snarls up the second you stop working with it. For whatever reason we have found that when it's longer it doesn't snarl up. I'm not sure if it's the weight added to it that works but when her hair is long she can style it on her own no problem.